We're walking out to see the winterberry. We planted winterberry about four years ago. This is the first year that we're gonna get a crop off of it. The plants are still pretty small. Um, I've never cut winterberry before. So if you're watching this and hoping to learn about winterberry, I'm probably not the one to learn from. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, an experiment, all new to me. But, um, but I will show you what we've got going on. And I thought as I was walking out there, uh, you could see the cover crop behind me. Um, that really warm November that we had, not now, but when it was really warm in November, it gave the cover crop a few extra weeks of growth, which was really nice because our cover crop all went in a couple weeks late because it was um, so droughty this summer. So uh, it's mostly frost killed by now, but it did put on pretty good growth. And now this is gonna stay and leave a nice, um, a nice blanket of cover for us over the winter. So the, it'll just be like a nice carpet covering the, um, covering the, crop, the ground for the winter. Look how beautiful these are. Um, we have, I don't know, about a quarter acre patch maybe of winterberry. Um, we do nothing to these. They're planted in a pretty swampy area. We have a lot of like kind of low swales on our farm that we can't really plant annual crops into. And so winterberry seemed like a good, nice uh, swampy ground loving plant that we could um, put in and get some production out of. So we planted these into landscape fabric strips four years ago. They've sat in, you know, in 20, uh, 2021, it sat in like six inches of water all year long. <laughs> and then this past year it was totally dry and had no water, but they've still done pretty well. The birds haven't found them yet to eat the berries off, which is why we're gonna cut them now. I don't wanna give them the chance to do that. And, um, and yeah, we really don't do anything. They get mowed like twice a year. We mow in between the, uh, the rows. As, as, uh, as these grow and become a more reliable crop for us, we'll probably give them more attention. Um, this area continues to be swampy um, all around, so we actually could put a lot more winterberry in, um, and we probably will. And yeah, I'll <laughs> work on weed control and things like that when I'm, when I'm certain that it's gonna pay us back, you know? Um, but for now, I'm really excited. We're going to come out and cut some of these beautiful stems. We'll have them at the shop for the holidays. And uh, yeah, I think they're really, really pretty. I'm happy with them. Long time, long time to wait for the first uh, stems, you know, four years. But now that they're here, how nice. Bring them back, Scott. Oh, what a good dog.